Salutations! I'm Alphabetty. I love the alphabet. Today, I've come to a B place. Do you know its name? That's right, Big Ben. A 2B name, so cool! Can you help me find all the other B things? Thanks! Let's start by looking around. What starts with B? Ball. Great. What else? Baseball bat. That's also a 2B name. Balloon. Don't let it float away. Butterfly. So pretty. Banana. Yummy! Badger! So cute! You found all of them! Thanks for all your help! Next time, we'll go to a sea place and find sea things. A, B, C, you later! Greetings! I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. I've gone on a dinosaur safari, and I've found more eggs. They are so big, I wonder what kind they could be. They could be so many kinds. Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus Rex, ooh, I'm prepared for T-Rex this time. With that steak spell, they'll eat it right up. Let's count these big eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, ten, ten big dinosaur eggs. Ooh, wow. Oh, look, a few are starting to hatch. Oh, my, they're Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus with the big fin. They're so cute with the fins. And oh, uh, they're very, very snappy. Let's solve this hunger problem. I may have made a mistake. Bring to me one big steak. What? They don't want to eat it. They keep looking at me and oh, they want to hunt me. No, we don't eat counting wizards. No, no, no. Eat the steak. We should get out of here very quickly. Uh, uh, yes, farewell. <laughs> Greetings. I'm the counting wizard. I love to count. Oh, look. A bunch of balloons! I love balloons! Don't you? Huh? Oh no! The wind! Quick! Let's catch them before they fly away! One balloon! Two balloons! Three balloons! Four balloons! Five balloons! Six balloons! Seven balloons! Eight balloons! Nine balloons! Ten! Ten balloons! Ooh, they are so pretty with all their different colors. Ah, oh, thanks for helping me catch them. It would have been terrible to have them blow away. You know, a great way to make friends is to share. I know someone who may also like these balloons. I will share them with him. Farewell! Greetings! I'm the counting wizard. I love to count. And I'm the rover. Welcome to the asteroid belt. Wow. The asteroid belt lies between Mars and Jupiter, and the total mass of all asteroids is only around 4% of Earth's moon. Huh. That is way lower than expected. So, there is a lot of space within the asteroid belt? That's right, counting wizard. That's how outbound research vessels like Voyager 1 have passed easily through it. And all the asteroids look so different. Why is that? Take a look over here. So asteroids are classified as three primary types. Carbonaceous, or C-type, which are mostly made of carbon, and these make up about 75% of all asteroids. Silicate-rich, or S-type, which are mostly made of silicates like sand, and these make up around 15% of all asteroids, and metal-rich, or M-type, 
These are mostly made of metals like iron and nickel, and these make up around 10% of all asteroids. So, what they're made of makes their shapes? Well, partly. However, they also experience collisions and erosion and micrometeor bombardment. Wow, it must be really tough to be an asteroid. Hmm, my scanners are picking up Vesta 4 nearby, but I can't see anything because of these asteroids. I have an idea. <clears throat> I sure do love counting these asteroids. One, two. Whoa! Uh, 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 I'm minus, not minus, and I love subtraction. Good luck counting while I'm subtracting. Oh, good. Thank you, Linus the Minus, for clearing the way. Now we can have a better look around. Thank you. Does not come to. Yeah. Thank you so much, Linus. You're a real help. Help. Uh, help. Help. Uh, must escape. Later, loser. Good job, wizard. Linus cleared the way very nicely. Now we can clearly see Vesta 4. Let's check it out. Vesta 4 is home to the highest mountain in our entire solar system, Rhea Silvia. It is 505 kilometers in diameter and 25 kilometers tall. Holy cow. It is very impressive, and yet it wasn't even discovered until 1997 by the Hubble Space Telescope, and not named until it was investigated by the Dawn spacecraft in 2011. There's always something new to learn, isn't there? It's so exciting, and that's why exploration is so important. But Rover, nothing seems to be from here. Do you think your home could be in the asteroid belt? No, that doesn't seem to be possible. The asteroid belt sure is an exciting place to explore, but it isn't home to anyone. Besides Linus the Minus, maybe. Let's go to the next planet and see what we can see. Traveling through space, Jupiter is the place. Farewell. Bye bye now. Greetings! I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. And I'm the Rover. Welcome to Mars! Wow, the Red Planet. That's right. Mars is nicknamed the Red Planet because it's covered with rust-like dust. Even the atmosphere is a pinkish red colored by tiny particles of dust thrown up from the surface. Ooh. Pink is one of my favorite colors. What else can you tell me, Rover? Mars has many massive volcanoes, and it is home to Olympus Mons, the largest planetary volcano in our solar system. It stands 21 kilometers high and is 600 kilometers across at the base. 21? 600 kilometers? That's so big. I want to count all the kilometers. Well, maybe if we have the time a little later. Um, let, let, let's, let's continue looking first. Mars has a very thin atmosphere made mostly of carbon dioxide. It is not thick enough to trap the sun's heat like Venus, so the planet is very cold. Temperatures range from negative 120 degrees Celsius on a winter's night to 25 degrees Celsius in the summer. That's negative 193 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a very drastic swing. No wonder no one lives here. Indeed, there are ideas for Martian colonization, but right now most everything is theoretical. So that means you're not from here. Well, there are several rovers on Mars. Spirit from 2004, Opportunity also from 2004, the Phoenix Mars Lander from 2008, not, not really a rover, but it's here. And the Mars Science Laboratory, known as Curiosity. It landed here in 2012, and he's still rolling around. But not you. No, not me. Well, I mean, I'm here now. But these guys all came from Earth. They aren't from here. Oh, 
Right. So you are not from Mars? Nope. Oh well. Maybe we should check out the asteroid belt. There might be some clues there. Excellent. Let us go. Flying rocks that do not melt, take us to the asteroid belt. Farewell. <laughs> bye bye now. Thank you for watching. To learn about the ABCs with my friend Alphabetti, click here.